Today, the Sunday Assembly, or as it's better known, the Atheist Church, is launching 35 new services in cities across the world. There's ones in New Zealand, Hungary, France, the UK, and 16 here in the US. So I'm here at the one in Strongsville, Ohio, just outside Cleveland, and we're going to see what it's all about. Nature's way of receiving you. Nature's way of retrieving you. Nature's way of telling you something's wrong. What's your background? Were you raised in a religious family? Did you go to church? I think I was saved twice, so it obviously didn't take. You were saved so, twice? <laughs> yeah, I, recently I've, I've just been uh, de-baptized, so I have the actual certificate oh, really? to show that I've been de-baptized. How did you get de-baptized? Well, uh, dry you excessively. <laughs> <laughs> The central idea we need to spread is that we have only one life, which means that that life has to be lived to the fullest. There is no second chance, no opportunity to have a do-over. There is no afterlife in which wrongs are righted and cosmic justice meted out to the evildoers. The Sunday Assembly was started by two British comedians, Sanderson Jones and Pippa Evans. They held the first event in London in January 2013. After that, Jones and Evans found that people were getting in touch, asking if they could set up their own Sunday assembly. What is it like being a now quite prominent atheist and organising something like this? Do you get any pushback from people who are religious that you know? Um, I do have several close friends who are religious. One of my best friends from high school, she is a pastor. I actually turned to my pastor friend to ask her, how do we start a church? And she gave me reams of advice, lots of great ideas. So you, your pastor friend gave you advice on how yes. to start a godless church. Exactly, yes. <laughs> Every one of you has a story that's brought you here today. Something brought you here to this point in this particular amazing location. And I really like this. I mean, it's almost church. <laughs> almost. How did you become an atheist, or were you raised an atheist? Religion does a lot of things well. What they do not so well is inculcate hate, intolerance, and all sorts of things that are anti-human. So this brings the best and leaves the worst out. What is your background then? Were you raised with a sort of religious aspect or anything like that um, in your life? I was raised like by militant atheists, and, and really? I feel like there's like a lot of people suffering and screaming, and who are um, their lives basically suck because religion is keeping them down. All right, how you feeling? You feel that tingles? Yeah. All right, all right. So, so, okay, all right, you can put your arms down now. Yeah. So, all right. So how important is what's happening today? You know, in the US, there's 16 of these assemblies launching today. There's already some that exist. Right. It seems to be a growing movement. How important is this kind of thing in perhaps trying to win back some of that territory from religious People. I mean, you've got to hand it to religion, like churches and so on, they provide a sense yeah. of community, they provide a sense of belonging to people, and so it does serve that social purpose, which I think what the Sunday Assemblies are trying to do, they provide an institutional framework whereby people feel a sense of community. The point there is that it's infectious. It's something that grips the mind uh, in the same way as a virus, a conventional virus, grips the body.